Um, let's uh, continue with the next presentation. Uh, that will be Tracy Hong. She's the director of pre-sales technical and product support at Huasan Energy. Um, like um, Jinko in, uh, in Topcon, Huasan is, uh, is a pioneer in HJT technology, which uh, has also a great uh, efficiency potential. And, um, and Tracy will talk to us about uh, how HJT performs in utilities as applic scale applications uh, while it is due to uh, its cost structure at the moment, mostly uh, being used uh, in rooftops. So very exciting talk. Tracy, the floor is yours. Thank you, Michael. I will share my screen with a minute. Okay, so uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tracy from Wasan, uh, and it's been actually a great pleasure to have this opportunity to share the presentation. Uh, we shall talk about how HJT performs in the utility scale application and the following uh, across a matter 20 minutes. So uh, first, uh, please allow me to do the very brief introduction for Wasan Company, in case you're not familiar with us. Uh, Wasan was uh, founded in July 2020 and uh, it's a technological uh, innovation enterprise specializing in the development and application of high efficiency and type hydrojunction uh, solar wafer cell and module technology, as well as the large scale manufacturing. Uh, Watson has built a robust uh, R&D team of more than uh, 100 talents uh, that are highly specialized in the production of HJT technology, including four industrial leading scientists and uh, our team is with an average of uh, 15 years experience in technology uh, development and management uh, in top enterprises. So uh, as the uh, currently largest uh, HJT technology manufacturer in the industry, there has been uh, 8.1 gigawatt capacity already. Uh, in Awesome for uh, both cell and uh, module respectively. So uh, moreover, actually by 2023, there will be over uh, uh, 20 gigawatt capacity then. So the second part, let's uh, talk about the technology chosen. Why is HJT? Uh, from this page, we can see that uh, uh, actually from the past till the present, there have been uh, many technology being researched and uh, produced, but why is HJT? So uh, we can see the uh, CL roadmap in details. Uh, back to uh, uh, the, uh, let's say start, maybe start of uh, 20, uh, 21st century, there was a uh, BSF uh, named uh, uh, back service uh, field CL at first, and then perk CL uh, coming out. Uh, and uh, every time once we saw the uh, mass production level reaching the uh, theoretical cell efficiency limitation, then the next uh, technology generation comes out. So right now there has been uh, an untyped period and uh, Topcon and HJT as the main technology, uh, both belonging to the untyped. Uh, but as mentioned here, uh, HJT has the specific advantages that other technology could not reach, or like much less uh, cell manufacturing steps and uh, much lower manufacturing temperature, so uh, so that the uh, carbon footprint uh, will be much lower. And uh, the most important point is that uh, during the mass production level, 
we will see that uh, the HJT uh, CL efficiency has been uh, higher than Tocom. Uh, in addition, uh, HJT also has the a more clear uh, efficiency upgrade uh, roadmap. Uh, based on HJT platform, of which uh, efficiency will be uh, like uh, uh, the I mean the tendency or like the uh, this page shows in the uh, in the right uh, picture the tendency of which the efficiency will be over uh, twenty eight percentage, and the uh, corresponding power output will be over eight hundred watt. This is the uh, means the combination of uh, HJT and the perovskite on the cell structure side, and uh, the reason is that uh, HJT cell structure and the manufacturing steps have the best compatibility uh, with the tenant cell. So that's why we uh, 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 that's why we uh, uh, say that the HJT cell technology has the most uh, clear uh, efficiency upgrade roadmap, and uh, the over eight hundred watt power output is the target of twenty twenty five in Wasan. Uh, if we look at the HJT cell structure in details, uh, HJT cell owns the perfect uh, symmetric uh, structure, and it combines the advantages of uh, crystalline silicon, uh, meaning uh, the middle N-type wafer and uh, the thin film technology. So it's superior in efficiency and performance. Uh, in Wasam, uh, all module products are actually based on the HJT technology. There is a uh, very complete module product line for all the scenarios and uh, specifically for utility application. The G12 with 210 millimeter cell size module is preferred and uh, it is with up to uh, 730 watt power beam and the leading uh, module efficiency also. Uh, moreover, this year, the another new product for utility, uh, it is G10R with the uh, 210 by 182 millimeters. Um, sorry, uh, I think that maybe I'm just a uh, log off by mistake. I will share my screen again. So, Michael, can you hear me? Yes, you're back. It was just one second that uh, we lost you. Okay. I will continue. So uh, as I just mentioned this year, uh, there's another new product, uh, GTNR, will be launched. And uh, this product will uh, say further strengthen our product uh, line for utility application. Yeah, and uh, regarding the uh, G12 module just mentioned, it's uh, already in the mass production level in Wasan, and it is uh, uh, with over four gigawatt capacity right now. So uh, Wasan guarantees the 50 years product warranty and uh, 30 years uh, power warranty with no more than uh, 12 percentage power degradation uh, until 30th year. And it is also reinsured by Ariel Re. So this product is the most uh, economic product on the uh, utility project side. And uh, uh, as we can see uh, in this uh, uh, project in Bulgaria, Wasan is regarded as the sole uh, module supplier of this Bulgaria 650 megawatt utility projects, uh, which always shows uh, the very good uh, energy uh, generation performance per our customers' feedback. So uh, as for the following pages, uh, uh, let, 
see the energy yield and uh, project profit advantages uh, for HJT module, uh, which is actually the key parts that uh, we are concerned about when we talk about the utility application. Um, firstly, from the theoretical side, HJT is uh, inherently better than other technology for the power generation performance. Uh, because of the like low to zero point two six temperature coefficient, uh, better weak light performance, and uh, as high as uh, 80, uh, 85 percentage module efficient uh, by efficiency. So that uh, no matter under a high temperature or low light environment, there will be more power generated. Uh, in addition, the CL structure is inherently uh, eliminating the PID and LID degradation. So it is also a uh, benefit to uh, energy output. And uh, uh, according to the actual test size results, uh, we will see that uh, after running over one year, uh, the first year degradation of HJT module is only less than uh, one percentage. And until now, the average uh, power generation addition, uh, if we compare HJT with PERC, uh, is reaching uh, averagely uh, 6.9 percentage. So it is also uh, verifies the theoretical uh, power uh, output advantages. And uh, as far as we discuss the power generation performance and much less uh, initial degradation, uh, the another part is the module reliability, uh, which could make sure that uh, the long-term stable power generation, at least until the uh, 30, 30th year. So this, is, uh, uh, this part is also very critical. And uh, as for HJT encapsulation design, uh, we use the UV light conversion film on the front side of the module. So we can see that uh, the UV light, uh, by using the UV light conversion film, the UV light will be absorbed and uh, transferred to the long, longer wavelength light so that HJT cell will not be impacted by the uh, UV light and uh, uh, contribute to some uh, uh, degradation we, we don't want to see. So uh, after the uh, module uh, under the stricter UV uh, light test, uh, the degradation data shows uh, the module's very good UV uh, res resistant uh, uh, performance. And the another key uh, encapsulation design is uh, PIB with double glass structure. So the PIB means there's uh, uh, the edge of the HJT module is sealed with metal adhesive, uh, which can uh, prevent water into the module from the edge. And the double glass could prevent the uh, water into module from the uh, surface of the module. So this uh, combination of encapsulation design could fully improve the uh, weather, uh, sorry, the water resistance and uh, uh, improve the reliability of HJT module. So we can see that uh, uh, after uh, six times of HJT DH test, uh, the power degradation ratio uh, is only less than five percentage, uh, which is much better than the uh, standard IEC. Okay, and the next part, the third part is about the uh, project uh, profit when applying HJT module. So here's one uh, project simulation. Uh, assuming that there's a 100 megawatt level utility uh, project, uh, we do the comparison between PERC and HJT module uh, based on the 210 uh, module type. And uh, we keep the other factors as the same, uh, like the project capacity, installation method, uh, inverter type, and so on. Uh, it can be seen that the energy yield increase per watt between HJT and PERC uh, is around uh, six percentage due to the uh, lower uh, temperature 
coefficient, uh, the and the last first year annual uh, power degradation and the much higher by visuality. The logic is very clear because of these factors, the HJT always has the higher energy yield. And if we consider the uh, like more hot climate, the uh, energy yield increase will be much larger. And uh, if we further considering the uh, higher HJT module power, meaning uh, less module quantity uh, needed, so it will bring uh, not only like the racking cost, installation costs down, but also the uh, land costs and maintenance costs of the project. So it means that the initial project uh, investment will be like a three percentage lower than PERC. Uh, and if we combine the uh, higher energy yield and lower EPC costs together, uh, it will finally contribute to uh, four percentage LCOE saving and uh, the up to eight percentage IR improvement. And this project is uh, based on the uh, uh, very common uh, climate. Uh, like I just mentioned, if we consider like the uh, more hot climate or the installation under the higher uh, bifacial allotted land, uh, the uh, energy yield will be uh, larger and uh, the uh, air saving on LCOE will be more considerable. So uh, not only the uh, ground mounted uh, project, uh, Watson also pay attention to the offshore and uh, floating projects and uh, accordingly develop the, the uh, specific HJT module solution for that kind of special application. Uh, we, as we uh, know that because the conflict between less and less available land area, uh, but more and more PV projects requests, so the uh, offshore and floating project is the very uh, promising application in future. So apart from the PIB and uh, double glass, uh, the module applies also the like uh, double layer coating uh, glass, the IP68 connector and uh, protection cap uh, and uh, 20 BB mounted bus bars uh, and also mounted coating frame to have the capability to withstand uh, the harsh salt mist, water, uh, wind load, and uh, wave vibration uh, impact under the uh, uh, offshore and the floating uh, project environment. So uh, for this kind of HJT module design, it has this kind of HJT module design has passed the reliability tests under the marine area, and it has also received the, the uh, first one uh, certificate from Barrio Veritas. So if we consider that HJT module uh, applies in this kind of project, it will further uh, show that uh, the EPC cost saving advantages. Uh, because the land, like the land cost, the transportation cost, uh, no matter the second, uh, first time and the second time and so on, are definitely uh, higher than a ground mounted PV project. So it means that uh, the less requested HJT module qu uh, quantity compared with PERC module uh, will bring more saving on the initial uh, investment side. Uh, include, including a uh, six percentage less labor cost. And also, it will also bring the uh, 10 percentage less uh, foundation and uh, eight percentage uh, less marine area occupying. So uh, we think that uh, HJT module is actually the perfect match uh, with the offshore projects. And uh, in China, uh, Wasan has already uh, delivered the uh, six, uh, 700 watt HJT uh, module specifically for the uh, offshore solar project. So it means that uh, uh, in Wasan, this kind of module has been in the mass production stage, not just only in the development and module design stage. Uh, until now, Wasan has been uh, ranked as the Bloomberg Tier 1 list and uh, Huron a global unicorn list. 
And uh, our module has received uh, uh, not only PV or a top performer, but also like a PV magazine award. So uh, taking HJT as the core technology, uh, we have received the large scale production and the application of HJT products. And we are expecting to bring higher benefits with added uh, value to more and more projects. Uh, that's all for my today's sharing. Thank you for all your attention. Thanks, Tracy. Uh, very interesting. Um, so um, when um, maybe one question from my side, when you um, when you look at your um, your 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 clients at the moment and demand for your products, um, are you seeing more and more? people also realizing that they could uh, use HJT for power plants? Yes, so uh, because uh, HJ, for HJT, the most uh, uh, advantage from the model parameter is actually the lower temperature coefficient and higher bifaciality. And uh, uh, as we say, uh, research during the uh, detailed uh, energy yield calculation, we will see that the um, higher bifaciality has the biggest uh, uh, like part to have the, the, the higher uh, energy Energy generation yield uh, uh, advantages. So if we compared with uh, like rooftop and uh, utilities, we will see that actually uh, in the utility or say a ground mounted large scale uh, projects, the HJT could have the uh, uh, much higher uh, uh, power yield generation advantages uh, even compared with the rooftops. But what do you see? So I think, let's say maybe for next year, what do you assume in terms of percentage? How much of your products would go into power plants and how much would stay on the roof? Uh, I think half, half. Really? And wow. uh, yeah, maybe uh, uh, actually more than half will be go to power plant utilities um, because we are seeing that more and more people uh, or customers, EPCs and end users are uh say uh accepting that uh, the hjt technology so as the um, type of technology the hjt is uh of course the uh, definitely the, the most uh, uh say good one uh for not only for the present but also for the future and uh, by end of this year we are targeting to reach the um, manufacturing costs uh, the similar to perk so uh, uh, we we will see that then at this at that stage uh, the, the the power plant uh, uh, project uh, volume uh, proportion will be larger and larger for HJT module okay that's a great great outlook thanks a lot Tracy thank you